Okay, uh, coolant's gonna start coming out, gushing out here when I pull this water pump out, just like that. And there she is. All right, here we go. Chevy Cruze 1.4, same thing as a 08 up to 2018 or something like that. I'm gonna show you how to drain this coolant out. You can see what I've been working in here. Oil leak, changing the water pump. A big mess right there, whoever did this job before. Use a silicone blue gasket. But on this video, show you guys how to uh, drain the coolant. All right, so we're underneath passenger side on the front here. Up there is the rad, and then there's a drain plug right there that needs to be open it up and then the coolant will come out. Did you see that there's a little, look like a spout coming out on this side right here. That's the way where the coolant's gonna flow. So we're gonna open it up quick here. All right guys, so I just use like a low nose pliers to uh, turn this uh, drain plug right here counterclockwise so it's loose now make sure to get your drain ready right there here we go gonna open her up all right we're gonna open this up so they will drain quicker there we go it's raining on the other side oh no all right I'll put a little deflector right there so it will drain on this side instead of draining on the other end over there so we're just gonna wait till it stop draining i'm gonna go up top here you're gonna open this thing up wide opens it will drain fast the coolant And then that plug right there on the top of the rad in the corner, that's when you uh, bleed this thing out. That's where the air bubble is going to come out. We're going to have to crack that thing open to uh, bleed the bubble out of the coolant. That's when you, when everything is running good and everything. So there you go, guys. This is how you drain a coolant on a Chevy Cruze 1.4. Same thing as the tracks, Encore, and all that stuff right there. show you how to take out this water pump we're gonna replace this water pump so I'm gonna give you a recap right now what's going on took out the bug cover you can see a lot of uh, silicone gasket on this thing whoever did this is just horrible strip hole for the bolt right there strip hole right there for the a bolt to go in it's a big mess of oil leak right there oil leak right here so we're gonna take out the water pump on this and then who knows we'll carry on taking out the tensioner the alternator and the crank pulley as well so let's get started all right so it looks like there's a probably about eight or six bolts here that holds this water pump i'll use a 10 mil socket we're just gonna crack it loose that's two that's three right there four five up on the front in the bottom six another bottom seven one eight nine and then ten right there up on the top oh ten bolts hold this thing down and make sure you get the upper rad hose disconnect and there's a bypass hose right here in the back going to the heater core we take that out and then this water pump will come out quick so we're just gonna zip those bolts out quick with our uh, milwaukee right here right here and then another one on this side there you go okay uh, coolant's gonna start coming out gushing out here when i pull this water pump out just like that just like I said. All 
Okay, here we go. One more bolt. Jesus, guys. And there she is. It's a big mess doing this. Coolant mixed with oil and dirt. It's not a good mix together. Well, we're just gonna disconnect that hose right there. Take out that clamp. And then we're gonna replace this uh, water pump. All right, guys, there we go. Water pump's out. I got the tensioner out already. My God. The more the parts I take out on this engine is the most disgusting that I see in this thing. It's horrible. All right, so taking out this uh, timing cover, I'm gonna have to uh, detach this AC pump right here because the bolts on this AC pump is bolt right on the side of the timing cover. It's just really bad design. I guess that's the only way how they come up with is bolted this bracket to the timing cover and then the other two is on the block. So we need to uh, move this AC pump out on this side so we could take out that bracket and the bolts de detached from the timing cover and then after that we're gonna take out the crank bolt and the crank pulley and I'm not sure about the alternator I don't know if you need to take that out we'll find out here but first um, next video we're gonna Put this on tdc i got a special tools to lock the cams down here we're gonna lock it down so it's not gonna move and then there's a pin that i put it on the service hole on the side of the block on the back end of this bracket there's a hole in there that you need to put a pin so it will lock the crank so it's not gonna spin when those two lock together now it's time to take out the crank bolt and then the crank pulley that's it guys that will be our next video. Give me a thumbs up, like the video. Let's go. See you again on the next one.